All right. What do you all think? How much do each one of these things weigh about? I'm guessing about 80 pounds each. So there's one pallet. There's another pallet right there. There's another pallet right there. And still there's another pallet right here. So in all there's 16 on each pallet times 4 comes out to what? 64? Something like that. You Well let's load them up. I don't know. I can get a ton up on this truck pretty much even with the busted spring. But 16 of them would weigh what? About almost 1,300 pounds. Let's do this. After picking up three, they don't quite feel like 80 pounds. Should we get a scale? There's our scale. Doesn't need to be a thousand percent accurate. There's our drum and rotor. Well, it's weighing in a little more than 80 pounds. Maybe I'm stronger than I think I am. Because they felt like about 50. My guesstimate 80. So, that was pretty close. I positioned the scale correctly. And it's coming out to 100 pounds. With that drum right there. So... 16 drums on each pallet is 64 so 64 times 100 that's over three tons right three and a quarter tons you for the dream as it continues well with 16 in here already it almost seems like it could possibly get more in here on the good side of the truck it's not squatting too much I sure don't want to take a chance on breaking it. Now, what's the truck going to weigh in at? <clears throat> it's weighing in at 71.60. Okay, now weighing, weighing out. Let's see what it comes out to. Fifty-four sixty. Seventy-eight hundred pounds. I got some tin shred on here too. Well, got rid of all of them. All that's left is just that little bit right there, and I am bushwhacked. But the scrap life continues, and uh, the day isn't over. You, <laughs> wow. I am, uh, I am beat. I'm definitely going to sleep really well tonight. That's the key. You work hard. As soon as your head hits the pillow, you're out until the next day. I've had, it. I've about had it with all these things today. You know. All the weight lifting. Woo! Coming right for me. I'd rather uh, roll them off like this. Listen to it hit the ground. Ain't that something? Kind of like, kind of like that sound. It sounds meaty. Something about that sound. Mm -mm -mm. 
64 of these things today. Where are your gloves? My hands are gloves. They're so worn out. I've been doing this all my life. Listen to that sound. I'm just intrigued by it. Watch your feet, Kingdom. I know, right? I'd be hobbling along. Need steel toe boots. Satisfying. Sound. Oh yeah, there's a commenter. I see this guy. This guy's like a complete asshole. His name's Randy Stone. I know he's generous to some people. He's a complete dickhead. F you, Randy Dickhead Stone. Listen to this one. Whippy, whippy. He's one of those YouTube haters. If you get on his bad side, like I did years ago, somehow or another, So, if any of you guys have that guy commenting on your channel, that, that dude's a real Jekyll and Hyde. In my opinion, anyway. My opinion based on my own personal experience. It's a, it's a no content channel. Like there's no videos. Probably not even the guy's real name. Randy Stone. You see him everywhere. You see him like, uh, you see him on Tucker Upper's channel. You see him on the Amazing Hob. You don't never see him on a uh, pallet, man. Yeah, I'll never see him on pallet, man, channel. Uh, uh, let's see what this, uh, let's see what this turns out, how much it weighs. That's a daily scrapper right there. Well, we could use the guy. Uh, yeah, he's one of them commenters that comments only on the cool channels, cause you know he's cool. <laughs> People, the dude's a real Jekyll and Hyde. Let me tell you, and now. Back at the compound for our next video. Stay tuned. You for the scrap wave. Thanks for watching.